Well, I've I've wanted to um, just to shift gears for one second. I've wanted to cover those MJ channels, uh, the MJ stocks a lot, but you know it's kind of counterproductive on YouTube, and that YouTube doesn't want you talking about D R U G S in any way, <laughs> and and it's you know so it's hard. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I, I've heard. Uh, I don't know how true it is, but I've I've heard that uh, channels have been shut down, uh, videos have been wiped out, uh, or at least demon well definitely demonetized. I don't even try to monetize those videos anymore. Um, so, but what but can the you industry do? is going crazy in the meanwhile. TLRY yeah. uh, was up like twenty dollars at one yeah. point today. Up to like, yeah, yeah it, was, it was up to like ninety seven dollars at one point today, which is just unbelievable yeah. breakout and uh you know cgc had that huge rally after earnings and then it, it's yeah. kind of followed yeah. through it i mean it's it's uh it's it's definitely a a, a big thing right now I, th I i think have you been following that stuff at all oh sure and the thing is now everybody wants to buy well that's typical everybody wants to buy after multiple really big green candles daily candlesticks that's not when I buy. I, I, I buy when nobody's talking about something that I believe in. Are you saying so, like green green like green candlesticks, bro? Like the kind you smoke? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you, now these candlesticks, you can't smoke. You can watch them. Uh, you can adjust them. But no, you can't smoke them. But yeah, if, you, if you're going to buy after multiple consecutive green candles – Oh boy, you're you're just asking for trouble in any asset class. Uh, people say, "Hey, Dave, should I?" They, they say to me, "Dave, should I? I should buy now, right?" I mean, legalization is coming to Canada October 17. Again, if I know this and you know this, you know who else knows it? Everybody. Okay. So in the past few days, it's been priced into all these stocks and the ETF as well. HMLSF, the the ETF, also known as HMMJ, the Horizons. Uh, marijuana ETF that's been going up three four percent a day. On, that's kind of unusual for an ETF. You don't see that very often. So, am I going to buy it right now? I, if you already own it, that's one thing. Uh, but uh, if you're going to take a position now, you're buying high, and you might end up might end up selling low, which is what I don't recommend. So, what's the what's the Advice for the normal person, wait for the inevitable pullback and then look for something that's a bargain to buy? Yeah, I'm a bargain hunter by nature. I've always been like that. And so, yeah, pick and either pick and choose your favorite companies in the space, whether it's Canopy, Aurora, Afria, Organogram, Emblem, Emerald, whatever. And you know, make your own ETF, build your own ETF. Or by the Horizons ETF, which last time I checked had 41 uh, of the biggest, most popular uh, companies in the marijuana space. It also has Scott's Miracle Grow, interestingly enough. Although I don't blame them. There's a good reason for that. And decide what your time frame is. What's your time horizon? How long you plan on holding it? And that can help you to decide when to get out or whether to get out. Yeah, well, shout out to your your frequent guest, Rich TV, who's had some good coverage on all of this. Um, so, what about? Let me just ask you, what about when we keep hearing about these new gold stock or not gold stock, uh, MJ uh, uh, cannabis stock? I'm trying not to say a word that's going to like disqualify my video right away, but these <laughs> sort of green stocks. What about right. the ones where like they're like initial coin offering, quote unquote, type things or like, you know, it's just come. They, they announced these new companies that have just come out. Like I know there's one that was like Julian Marley's Juju stock. Is is it wise to play with these things or are they going to go the way of uh, altcoins did, uh, w w you know, with Bitcoin? Um, yeah, I, I have a tendency to want to buy the blue chips of any sector. Uh, the best of the best, and the time-tested ones. That's just uh, my nature. N not always. I'll take a chance sometimes. I'll make a lotto play, but that's with a small percentage of my account. Uh, for the the bread and butter, the, the real money makers in your account, uh, you probably, I, I recommend that most people stick to the ones that have been around for a while, the ones that have survived the downturns, the ones that have great leadership, 
plenty of extra capital, uh, brand name recognition doesn't hurt. And when you stick with those, you actually have something of a buffer uh, because every company is going to have a bad quarter, bad earnings report. And when you have a great, huge, time-tested company, then it's very likely to survive even a bad quarter. There's no guarantees. I mean, look at, look at what's happening to Sears, GE. There are companies that are massive, but they still go down the toilet. <laughs> but uh, if, if, you know, if you're going to buy th those stocks, uh, you might want to stick with Canopy, Afria, Aurora, stick with the big ones. And then for the lotto play, yeah, cherry pick a few speculative ones that might go up 200%, 500%, whatever it is. Make them such small positions that you, don't, you almost don't care what happens. And that's actually a good place to be. Yeah, I think that's great advice. My, my advice for anybody who's looking to get into the gold stocks is pull up the charts from last December for Afria, Canopy, and whatnot. You're going to see a huge spike to these huge highs, and then it all just fell apart. And a yep. lot of people got caught up in that thing. Just be aware of that. Go look at those charts and stare at them for one minute, <laughs> and that will give you the right perspective to come into this because it, this could be a game of musical chairs where the chair just gets pulled out from under. Now, you know, Afria is a supposedly in play with uh, Di Diageo, which is this, I'm pronouncing it wrong, which is a, a, a big alcohol company. All these other ones are rumored to be in play from big alcohol companies, but the chairs can get pulled out from under on this thing at any time and uh, uh, musical chairs stop and you don't have one, you're going to, you know, you're going to be stuck holding the bag. And we know yep. that bag holders are not, you don't want to be a bag holder in the stock market. Yep. Very true. You don't want to be a bag holder. Watch those charts, stare at it for a minute, uh, make a picture of it, print it out. If you have to put it on your wall, learn your lesson, uh, not the hard way, learn it the easy way, learn it from people who've already made the mistake. And that way, uh, otherwise, you're going to end up going to stock market university, and tuition is not cheap. <laughs> Amen, brother. All right.